I'm Doug. Join us as we follow the moon. Today we wanted to give you kind of a review of our first year of ownership of our Tiffin Allegro Red 37PA motorhome. And we want to start off with, you know, we're going to tell you what all has happened to the coach, what we've had to have fixed. Uh, but we want to start off, first of all, in the very beginning. Before we took delivery of the coach on the 5th of June last year, 2020, I actually made a run up to Red Bay the middle of May to do a walkthrough. Now that was just as the pandemic was kind of in its full, full first swing. And it normally had been, you could go in with a technician, walk through, point the things out to them, and then they would take care of them. But things had changed a little bit at that point uh, and everything has evolved. But the way it worked at that point was you were given a notepad and you were given a roll of tape and you went through and you put tape on every thing that needed an adjustment, anything that had a scratch, anything that had a mark, anything that you needed to have taken care of, you put a piece of tape on it, you number it on the tape, you number it in the notebook, and then you were given three hours with your coach then you went you turned the notebook back into it and that's how things got taken care of we had that time with the coach we had the day that we picked the coach up from the dealership and i have to tell you i was amazed everything that we had put on that list uh save for maybe one or two very minor issues were all taken care of at the factory before it made it to the dealership if you have an opportunity no matter what you're purchasing if you're ordering a unit and you have an opportunity to take that time at the factory it is time so well spent we have probably and i'm just going off my memory i think 30 different items on that list for adjustments and they were taken care of so that saved us a lot of heartache down the line uh, we did our walkthrough at the dealership when we purchased the RV. Uh, and unfortunately, you know, you're excited, you're trying to learn, uh, they're going through all the controls, and you do miss a few things. Uh, one was the little vent. It's located where the extended island comes out of the kitchen, right below that for the aqua hot. There's a nail sticking about halfway out of it, and it seems like it's pounded into metal, and that's as far as it could get it. I can't get it to go in any further. So that's actually one of the things that we're gonna have corrected while we're in Red Bay. That's been in the coach ever since the beginning. Another one that was that way at the dealership when we picked it up, and we didn't realize it until we got home, was the remote control for the fireplace was missing. We learned real quickly that going back to our dealership was not the best and easiest way to get it fixed. I called Tiffin. I let him know that we took delivery of the coach. There was no remote for the fireplace. They sent one out to us. No problem. Very, very easy. The next thing when we took delivery, we got a big ring full of keys. Didn't realize until we got home that none of the keys on those key rings fit either lock on our outside door. Now, thank goodness this does have a uh, remote to lock the door, but it only locks the, the handle lock and not the deadbolt. So we contacted Tiffin, little miscommunication. They first of all sent me a couple of blank keys. We had no way of knowing how to get them cut. So I called them back, re-explained the situation they sent an entire new door handle assembly with the four keys that come with it. And uh, we put it on ourselves and sent them back the other one. Again, anything we needed, they took care of. Uh, there's been a small leak in the shower faucet. You don't take a shower when you take delivery. So we didn't know that until we got home. It's never been a big deal, but after you have shut the water off, water will drip out of the bottom of the faucet. That's something we're going to have replaced while we're in Red Bay. Um, the other thing with the shower was the first morning when I took a shower, I had water on the bathroom floor. 
and the water was going underneath the track of the sliding doors. I ran down to Lowe's, I got a tube of clear caulking, I re-caulked around the inside and outside of the uh, uh, shower track seal, has never been a problem since. Um, the dining table, this one right here, for whatever reason, when it's been pushed in for more than a couple of hours, it sticks uh, to the point where you feel like you're going to jerk your arm out of the shoulder to get it out. That's something we're going to have fixed while we're here at Red Bay. Um, over the next several months, a few other little things developed. The air conditioner uh, return air vents that have the filters in them, they pop down out of the ceiling and they've got a little plastic piece in the back that's held in with four little tiny ears. You have to remove those to pull the filters out and clean them. And I had two of them that over the first couple of months in taking them out, that the little ears broke. Called Tiffin, they sent me out a couple of replacements, no charge. Um, the center stop lamp, we had just uh, went to Lake Magic and had backed up uh, into our space. Kathy was watching me back up and she says the center stop lamp is just hanging by wires. It's a little plastic LED tube and it's glued in place. The glue had left go as it started to get warm uh, from the heat of the engine and the, and the, the heat in Florida. And so we just simply used uh, silicone adhesive, put a strip of that along the back. That's what Tiffin said to do with it. Stuck it back up there, no problem. It's been fine ever since. Um, we had one issue that, that kind of scared me off a little bit, and that is our uh, rear slide that has the bathroom vanities and the uh, cabinets in the bedroom. Uh, that slide would start to get stuck halfway in or halfway out. And YouTube to the rescue. We found a YouTube video that explained how to resynchronize these Schwintech slides. The two rear slides on this are Schwintech, the two front ones are hydraulic. And very simple, there's two little boxes. Uh, Tiffin positions those in a nice way too. Uh, so that if you ever have one of those controller boxes go bad, you can unplug the wires from the one, plug in the wires to the other one, and use that one good controller box to work the other slide so you won't be stranded. But there's a little sequence that shows you here on the front. You hold in the button, I believe it's six times, and then press it and hold it in until the lights flash. Then come in and run the slide all the way in, all the way out a couple of times, and it learns how to synchronize the motors between the two. We did that, we've never had another minute's trouble with it. So again, thank you, YouTube. Um, we had a drawer latch on uh, one of my uh, uh, drawers in the bedroom that for whatever reason, the screw pulled out of the wood, packed it with uh, steel wool and a little bit of wood glue, let it dry, run the screw back into it, no problem. Uh, the refrigerator, uh, also has latches at the top for travel that hold the door shut. The one on the left, the little latch, the plastic part of the latch broke. I called up Tiffin. She says, yeah, that does happen occasionally. Uh, I'll send you a couple of them just so you've got a spare. Sent them out. Actually, we were traveling uh, a couple of days after that broke. And so they sent them out to me right away so we'd have them before our travel. And again, Tiffin to the rescue. Um, they, uh, on the other side of the refrigerator, the hinge was making a terrible screeching noise. And it ended up that the wooden cutout uh, was just cut a little bit too tight. Uh, we just uh, trimmed away a little bit of the wood that was pushing on the latch, took care of that issue. Uh, induction cooktop. And the induction cooktop, the left-hand burner would just periodically decide that it was going to raise its temperature up to 420 degrees on its own. And it did this a couple of times and then it raised it up and you couldn't lower it back down. So it contacted Tiffin and Tiffin says it's no problem. They just simply lift out and they do. It's, there's adhesive along the front and the back. They lift straight out. They unplug from an outlet in the wall. Very, very simple. 
Uh, she says, I'll send you out a replacement. She says, but unfortunately right now we're out of stock of them. Uh, and as we all know with the pandemic, there's been a lot of components that have been difficult for them to get. So I said, well, I can pick up one on Amazon. She asked me how much I told her. She says, hold on just a minute. She uh, came back on the phone. She says, if you don't mind, buy the one on Amazon and then send us the invoice for it and we'll cut you a check. I emailed them over the invoice as soon as I purchased it. And about 10 days later, maybe two weeks later, I had a check in my hands. So even when they didn't have the part, they made sure that it got corrected. Great customer service. Um, Kathy uh, had been in our bathroom getting ready one morning and we smelled something that smelled kind of musty and didn't know where it was coming from. I checked the tanks, I put extra chemical in the tank, couldn't locate it. So we finally started checking under the vanity and she had a couple cardboard boxes that had our Swiffers and, and that sort of thing in them and the top was wet. And what had happened is the little piece at the back of the pipe where the uh, stopper moves up and down, that little ring was loose. Wrapped it with uh, uh, tape, the plumber's tape, and screwed it back on tight, took care of that. I hate doing plumbing, but that one was easy. Um, the biggest issue we've had has been our aqua hot. We did an all electric coach and Aqua Hot had just come out with a new unit called a 250D. It's a smaller, more compact unit. And after we had the coach for about three months, we were without hot water. We were without heat, but it wasn't that important at the time, but we were without hot water. We, after a couple of weeks of trying to find an Aqua Hot technician and, and issues with that service company, uh, we got the thermostat uh, replace the control thermostat back in business no problem um, about three months later no hot water again contacted aqua hot they said yeah we know there's a problem it's the same thermostat that they use in the 400 450 D's very reliable part but for whatever reason in the smaller unit with the smaller reserve tank it works it harder and the, the uh, uh, thermostat was going bad Said so they were re-engineering the part, but for right now, all they could do is just replace it. We got a great aqua hot technician uh, from over in uh, Merritt Island, and he took care of it, did an excellent job, gave him a phone call, he was there the next day. Well, third time's the charm. Uh, aqua hot went out again a few weeks ago, and we contacted the company. They have a re-engineered thermostat contacted the same repair person we had the second time. He had just gotten the parts in about a week ago, came and replaced that thermostat, and so far, everything's been great. So hopefully we have got the, the bug out of the Aqua Hot system. Um, recently, and this has just been in the last probably six to eight weeks, we've noticed that we were getting a lot of lint back around the dryer, and the dryer vent evidently has come separated uh, the the little flexible hose the flexible tubing so that's on our list here for red bay um, since where it's located there's no way i can get my arm back in there i'm going to let them deal with that but uh, just to get that flexible pipe put back in place on the dryer so that everything vents to the outside like it's supposed to we've also developed a leak in our driver's side rear hydraulic leveling jack and the top of the jack is wet. Now it hasn't been enough of a leak that it's caused any problems or we've had to add any extra hydraulic fluid, but that's something we're gonna get taken care of at Red Bay also. Um, we've got an issue with our hydraulic slide on the front slide on the driver's side. Uh, there are four bolts underneath the slide and the closer you get to the front of the coach, the more bent those bolts appear. And they have already told me that means the slide is out of adjustment. They're gonna take care of that at Red Bay. But what it's also done is it has broken one of our ceramic uh, 
floor tiles. It happens to be in a great spot. It's underneath our lounge sofa when you pull the extension out for the L-shaped sofa. So it doesn't show at all, but they're gonna get that taken care of for us here at Red Bay also. Uh, the steps have just started something new that one time they will go all the way up like they're supposed to, and the next time they'll only go part way up. So that's on the list for Red Bay also. Um, we also just had the coach serviced at Bay Diesel, and we've got a great video coming out on Bay Diesel that you absolutely will not want to miss if you own any type of a diesel coach at all. And while they were under the coach, they found two things. First one was the transmission cooler. Had a couple little drops of coolant on it. Nothing that we'd ever caught because you only ca would catch it when the unit was under pressure uh, and was running. And that's when they saw it. And it was just simply a hose clamp wasn't tight. They tightened clamps on everything back there. I watched them for probably 10 minutes tightening everything. And uh, the other thing is, as they were bringing it down off the, the lift, um, the technician standing there says, had any problem with your headlights? I said, haven't really driven it dark much. And the one bulb for the high beam headlights was just loose and hanging. It hadn't been put in all the way and twisted or had vibrated loose at some point. So they took care of that. In the entire first year, that's the entire list. Most of them are things that we could fix with a screwdriver in five minutes of time. Uh, there's a few items on there like the hydraulic jack, like the slide. Uh, those things we're going to have Red Bay take care of. But you hear all these horror stories about people's walls falling down and getting flooded out and everything else going on with, with new coaches. And I got to tell you, we took a list and we both sat down and, and thought and thought and thought of everything that has had to have been done on this coach in the first year. And when you, when you come down to a screw pulled out of the wood, you, you know you're kind of scraping. That's everything that has had to have been taken care of on this coach in the first year. We are completely over the moon with the quality that we've seen from Tiffin. Uh, I certainly hope that quality continues. Uh, but between their quality and their customer service, it's really made this first year a great, enjoyable experience for us. So we want to thank you for joining us today. Uh, we hope that it's been helpful to you. Uh, if you are considering ordering a coach, be sure and, and go to the factory, take a look at it when they can take care of fixing things before it gets to the dealer. It's so much easier. Uh, if you enjoy this, give us a thumbs up. We certainly appreciate that. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. We love to have new subscribers. Thank you all for joining us as we follow the moon. And we've got a lot more great content coming on with Red Bay, our trip to Tiffin. A lot of good stuff coming up. Thanks so much. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you've enjoyed it. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel and be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when we have new videos listed. Also, be sure to check out our blog at followthemoon.us and also our Facebook page at Follow the Moon and on Instagram at Follow the Moon Travel. Thanks.